Hello, passionate Sailtic FC fans. This is Sailtic Central News, your exclusive source for Sailtic updates. Before we kick off, we appreciate the incredible support. If you love Sailtic, subscribe now, hit like, and let's build this community together. Now, on to the latest news, a warm welcome to new subscribers. Your support is crucial. Hail, hail! In recent years, Celtic Park has experienced a notable turnover in centre-backs, creating a sense of uncertainty in the defensive lineup. Players such as Nat Phillips, Gustav Lagerbielka, and Yuki Kobayashi have all made their mark, only to depart shortly after. This revolving door of defenders reflects the challenges the club has faced in stabilising its backline. Among those who passed through this revolving door was Moritz Jens, a towering defender with a background in Fulham's youth system. Jens arrived at Celtic on loan from Lorien in the summer of 2022, during a period when Angie Postacoglu was actively seeking reinforcement to cover for the established duo of Carter Vickers and Karl Starfelt. The German centre-back was brought in to bolster the squad and quickly made an impression. In his brief stint at Celtic, Jens demonstrated his capabilities on the pitch, making 19 appearances across all competitions within just six months. He not only contributed defensively but also showcased his goal-scoring ability by finding the back of the net twice. His style of play drew comparisons to former Celtic star Christopher Jullian, with pundit Michael Stewart noting the similarities. Frank McAvenny described him as a no-nonsense loanee, which encapsulated his straightforward and effective approach to defending. Jens himself acknowledged the opportunity to play for Celtic as a dream, although his time at the club turned out to be quite short-lived. As the season progressed, Jens faced difficulty in securing a permanent spot alongside Carter Vickers and Starfelt. With the arrival of Yuki Kobayashi in January, Jens' position became even more precarious. Consequently, he was permitted to depart Celtic Park at the beginning of 2023, moving on loan to Schalke for the remainder of the season. This decision allowed him to gain valuable playing time and experience in a competitive environment. Later that year, Jens made a permanent switch to Wolfsburg, furthering his career in the Bundesliga. Now, at the age of 25, he is on loan at Mainz, where he has started the last five league matches, suggesting he has adapted well to his new surroundings. The Berlin native appears to have thrived since his departure from Celtic Park nearly two years ago, a testament to his development as a player. His current market value reflects this growth, standing at 7.5 million euros, 6.3 million pounds, surpassing that of Trusty, who is valued at 7 million euros, 5.8 million pounds, according to Transfermarkt. As Celtic's current manager Brendan Rodgers assesses his options in the defensive lineup, especially after a recent strong performance, one can't help but wonder what might have transpired had Jens remained at the club for a longer period. The defender himself has hinted at a possible future return to Celtic, leaving fans to contemplate the potential of rekindling that initial chapter of his career. Perhaps in time, the story of Moritz Jens at Celtic Park could be written anew. Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all exclusive news about Celtic FC. Don't miss any details about your favourite team. It's extremely important for Celtic FC fans. In a shocking turn of events that has sent ripples through the football community, reports have emerged claiming that several players from Celtic FC have tested positive for banned substances during the Champions League. This revelation comes on the heels of a video leak that hints at internal turmoil within the club, raising eyebrows and prompting urgent questions about the integrity of the team and its future in Europe's most prestigious tournament. As the rumours swirl, fans and pundits alike are grappling with the implications of these allegations. If proven true, the consequences could be dire, not only could individual players face lengthy suspensions, but the club itself may be stripped of its Champions League status. Such a scenario would not only mar the club's illustrious history but also tarnish the reputation of Scottish football on the international stage. The Celtic management has yet to issue a definitive statement, leaving supporters in a state of anxiety. The club's previous successes in the Champions League have created a rich tapestry of history, but the shadow of a doping scandal threatens to unravel it. The possibility of elimination raises concerns about the impact on player morale and fan loyalty, especially as the team gears up for crucial matches in the tournament. 
In the wake of the allegations, social media is ablaze with speculation and outrage. Many fans are demanding accountability and transparency from the club, insisting that the management provide answers regarding the ongoing investigations. Former players and football analysts are also weighing in, debating the potential fallout and the long-term ramifications for Celtic, which has always prided itself on its commitment to fair play. As the doping allegations surrounding Celtic FC continue to unfold, the club's passionate fan base is left grappling with a mix of disbelief and anger. Many supporters are taking to social media and fan forums, expressing their thoughts and emotions about the potential fallout. This is a betrayal of everything we stand for as a club, one longtime season ticket holder lamented. We've always prided ourselves on our integrity. If these allegations are true, it will break our hearts. Fans are also calling for immediate action from the Celtic management. We need transparency. We deserve to know what's really going on, another fan expressed. There's a prevailing sentiment that the club must come forward with a clear statement, addressing the rumours head on. Supporters worry that a lack of communication could lead to further speculation and division among the fan base. They want reassurance that the club is committed to upholding its values and addressing any wrongdoing. Moreover, some fans are concerned about the potential consequences of these allegations on the team's performance. If our players are under this kind of pressure, it could affect their morale and play, one supporter noted. We need to rally behind our team now more than ever, but it's hard to do that when we're left in the dark. The uncertainty surrounding the team's future in the Champions League has left many feeling uneasy, questioning how the players can focus on their game amid such chaos. As the Celtic community rallies together, there is a palpable sense of urgency for answers and clarity. Fans are united in their desire to protect the club's reputation and its storied legacy. We want to see our team succeed, but we also want to do it the right way, one fan concluded passionately. The outcome of this scandal will undoubtedly shape the future of Celtic FC, but for now, the voices of the supporters echo the need for integrity, transparency, and a commitment to the club's proud history. As this story unfolds, the football world watches closely. The ramifications of these allegations extend far beyond the pitch, threatening to reshape the landscape of Scottish football and challenge the very ethos that clubs like Celtic hold dear. With the Champions League knockout stages approaching, the pressure mounts not only on the players but also on the club's management to restore faith and integrity in the wake of this brewing scandal. Hello, fan! Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Celtic FC. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.